Hi, today I will finally try to make a video again because it has been a week and a half since the last one. It's not the best possible day to be filming because I actually have a concert tonight uh, that me and Ina go play to. But before and after that, I hope I'll have some time to film a little something like this. So yeah, I'm leaving work now and I have to go to a grocery store to get some food supplies and then I will meet you at the home. And it's already the next day. Uh, the concert took a bit longer than I expected and I was really tired after that so didn't get to film yesterday but today I'll film something and let me just show you some new cool things I have going on here like for example these brand new speakers They're really good quality speakers that I bought I have a stereo pair here and it's really a joy to listen to music and create music here with these speakers because I have my piano now as well here right beside my computer so I can hook the piano to the computer and make music and also I can play the piano uh, from these new speakers so that's really cool because these speakers are way better quality than the piano speakers and Ina is baking some buns here Hi. And I have this pile of sheets here. I haven't done anything to these since the last video, but now I will try to continue these a little bit. So, last time we left on a part where I was about to check the curvature of these sheets by taping them on this curve with some kind of a string. And now I thought of using this kind of string instead. This is normally used to tie up Christmas, Christmas presents, but this is better string uh, than the last one I used because this doesn't stretch at all and this also has a lot more surface area for the tape to take hold on it. So I think this will be a better string. But first I need to measure the distance that I talked about in the last video the distance from here to I can't show it here but I will measure it from the 3D model so here I have a very rough model of the paraboloid and from the side view we can see that the distance is roughly uh, two centimeters which is quite little I I thought it would be a bit more but we'll just have to try that and see how it goes This is the tricky part. I have to get the distance right. I think it's right there. Okay. So now I have two of these taped and they don't match perfectly at all, but they are still surprisingly good. I don't think I will be able to make them any better than this so I'll just cut the rest of them and then start gluing them together okay I got all nine of these ready I still need to do the shape that goes into the center and rather than doing a nine-sided polygon that fits perfectly in there I thought I will just do a simple circle that is large enough to go behind there so that I can easily just glue these sides to the circle once I have glued these sides together. It's easier to do that way and also it gives the possibility to fake the curvature of the bottom uh, later on. Okay, 
that should be good enough. And now on to the gluing process. I was a bit hesitant to just start straight out gluing these together because I might have some cumulative errors and the whole thing could turn out really bad. And I realized a good way to check everything is correct is to tape these things together like this very lightly only with two pieces. It actually holds this in place pretty well and I can do the whole thing like this and check that everything is correct and then because I have the whole thing assembled I can just fill these seams with uh, glue and that's it basically. Ta-da! There it is, the whole thing assembled. The shape of it looks surprisingly good. I think I will just start gluing it together and see what comes out of it. Now it's all glued up and just waiting to dry. And that's it for this time. We'll see how the gluing works out in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye!